Hey everybody, it's Margaret. Welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, we're going through the second part of this box. This is the same intro, so if you're seeing the same bits and pieces that were in the video from yesterday in this box, I'm doing a magical voiceover. And uh, yeah, so I'm digging into the bottom part of this box that we didn't get to yesterday, so thanks so much for coming back for part two of this box. I can't wait to show you what I find inside. Let's dive in. All right, let's take a look at these. This is a nice little charm bracelet. It's got this, ooh, J. Jill, all right. And it's just got these little discs, which I think somebody will really, really like. It's kind of, I mean, it's not quite like that brutalist style, but it's definitely leaning that direction. So I can see someone really liking that. I swear, this is the dirtiest lot. All right, here we've got some little faux pearls. They're graduated, slowly getting bigger, and a nice little clasp. These I will try to sell. And then this one I'm on the fence about. It's one of these that has these satellite beads. Come on now. Hmm, it's simple, but I could see somebody really liking this one. Let's check it. It is magnetic, but... I don't know, I think somebody might really like this. It's simple and classy and classic. A couple of chains here that are probably, look at this, bone is here again. Ugh, probably both silver chains. These ones I will hang on to for uh, pendants. Hmm, all right. So, this says Cheap Monday. And it's an earring, which looks kind of like a claw. I will wait and see if we find the mate for that weird crazy thing. Somebody will like that for sure. This one also, it's got this, what is that, octagonal shape. Somebody's going to be into the octagon and want some octagon shaped earrings. So hopefully the mate's there. And then this one is a heart. What do we think? Let's see, like that. And it is magnetic. So yeah, and it looks like maybe that's a glare. Yeah, that'll go to a lot. And then this, this is Victoria's Secret. I will sell this, These, this bracelet. Is it a bracelet? You have to have some tiny, I have smallish hands and wrists. What is this? I don't think it's a bracelet. How do you get that on? <laughs> oh wait, it goes on that one. Wait, is one of my hands bigger than the other one? No, there we go. One of my hands is bigger than the other one? That's so weird. I guess it is. You're going on a diet hand. All right, this one I'll sell. Then this really cool glass necklace. These glass beads are, they look like pressed glass. You can see the seam along the side. They're super awesome with this nice faceted teardrop glass pendant. I will definitely sell this one. I think it's gorgeous. I love these beads. Let me get in closer so you can see. They kind of look like sunflowers or scent. You can see the seams on the side where they're if I'm saying that wrong, I'm pretty sure they're pressed glass. But uh, yeah, this one I think somebody will love. A couple more earrings I'm waiting on the mates for. Now these ones could be mates if they're, you know, mix and match weirdness. There's a possibility. And then this one is cool. It's double-sided. So one side, or maybe this is supposed to be the front, this mother of pearl flower, kind of like a dogwood. But I think the back is just as nice. So yeah, I'm hoping to find the mate for this one. I think it's beautiful. So this necklace, I think, is pretty. It would probably sell. However, I either I'm going to have to take some more time to detangle it or just put it in a lot and let somebody else enjoy the detangling process on this one. But I think it's really pretty. Look at this hair, y'all. <laughs> Yucks. I can't win. It's, it's overtaking me. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna put it in a lot because I just can't detangle anymore right now.
All right, so I've got all of these things that are going to lots. Uh, this has got some pretty gross wear to it and just randoms that are not going to be worth selling or waiting for the mate. So all of that's going to a lot. This as well, it's, uh, yeah, it's all going to a lot. A couple earrings I'm hoping to find the mates for. The light is weird again. Anyway, those are ones I'm going to try to find the mates for. This one is pretty cool, but it's broken. There was another piece. There we go. I mean, I guess I could try to fix it. Let's take a peek. Or am I too impatient? Eh, I'm going to put this in a lot. I think it, even this part's got a little bit of wear to it, so I'm going to go ahead and lock that up. Tell me what you think about this one. I may wait and see if these two pieces are down in there, but I'm probably going to lock this. I wonder if this could come off. I wonder if I could undo this grommet, take that panel piece off, because the rest of the bracelet is gorgeous and then find something else to put in its place. I mean, this is pretty cool, but it's missing a bit of stuff. Oh, what do you think? I love bracelets like this. All of this etching on it. It's gorgeous. Oh, I'm so on the fence. But this is such a good project piece. I think somebody would really be able to make something cool out of it. Hmm. Oh, goodness. No marks on it. All right, I'm setting it to the side to try to decide what to do. Ah, this one came off the, look at this. It's a dragon that spins around on this crazy long chain. I will probably try to sell this. This is good fun. Yeah, I will sell this one. Lots of Year of the Dragon people. And yeah, so that'll be a fun one to sell. Same here, let's zoom in. I really like these roses on this chain. This is something I will also sell. I think this one's really pretty. Random chain, this will get so, um, put in a lot rather. I like it, I like it, I like it. So this one is very tribal. It's got this kind of Southern Asian, what do you think? Kind of Indian, kind of, I don't know, I can't quite place it, but very cool. Not quite Bali, Thailand, it, I don't know. I'm not very good with that kind of stuff, but it's definitely got that vibe to it. This great piece here, all of these cool charms hanging down. I will definitely sell this. This is great. What's on the back? They're about the same. Cool. And this is just a glass bead necklace. They're kind of that garnet color bead, but this one I'll probably put into a lot. We've got a few pieces here we're going to look at. This one looks promising. That one is going to a lot. Okay, so let's dive in. We've got what looks like a gold, like flat chain here. It's got a little tag next to the clasp. So let's go in and see what it says. This one is 14 karat gold filled. So this is one I will set aside. I might try to sell this one. I like this flat chain a lot. That's really nice. And then this one, let's see what we've got. It's got a really pretty pendant. That's really nice. It's got a mark on the back too, and there's a D there. So that says 925, 10K, and then RL. You're able to see, now my ring light is gonna get in the way. Let's look at the chain here. And the chain is marked 925. So I'm guessing that most of this is silver and then this one gold swirl around is the 10K. So then this stone, I guess we're gonna have to see with the, with the gem tester what it is. We'll pull it out at the end.
this one I took a little bit longer trying to detangle it because when I took a peek at the label on the side here, this one had a label of Tiffany & Co. So let's show you right there. I took a, took a look closer and that one was Tiffany. Not quite what you would expect. It's this one. I had to stop and look it up. Ah, this one is the Women's Marathon San Francisco. Again, that's got Tiffany & Co. on it. Silver. I looked it up. I saw one like this for sale for about $95. There was one sold on eBay for I think about $65. So that's going to be a nice sale. So I'll have to get some baby powder and really help me get those little knots out. But I will definitely sell this Tiffany & Co. Sterling Silver Women's Marathon necklace. It might take a little time to sell because it's very specific. But I will sell it. I've got a few bracelets here. This one I'm going to put in a lot. I'm on the fence about this one. I like this color. I generally lot this style of bracelet, but I feel like this color is really nice. So somebody might like this. Tell me what you think. And then I feel like I had this brand recently in wood, so I'm going to hold on to this until I double check. And then this one I'm going to put into a lot as well. I swear, I just washed my hands. This is the dirtiest lot, I swear. And then these bracelets are one that will also all go into a lot. Got a few bits here. This is uh, going to a lot. This funky butterfly is weird. Might need to wipe it down. It's got some wear to it, but it's so unusual. I think I'm going to try to sell it. Oh, it's a BSK. I'll have to look that one up. This is a little amber drop earring, so I'm hoping to find the mate for that. That will go to a lot. It's just messed up. Same here. That will go to a lot. And this little wire wrapped ring also to a lot. Tell me what you think about this little turtle. It's cute and it's, mm, I don't know. I'm tempted to put it into a lot, but tell me what you think. And then this, these are plastic. They're not crystal. They have that look though. So this one, ooh, what do you think? I might try to, mm, mm, I'm probably gonna put it in a lot, yeah. And then, Take a look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, we're going in closer. This one looks like it was a panel that somebody put on another chain because the chain is silver tone, but these pieces are, I wonder if it's another one that somebody made. Oh, this is awesome. Let's get in closer. So here are the different little button pieces, sort of. What do you think? That looks like pan or somebody. Ah, these are so cool. Look at that. Ah, oh, he's got a horn. He's like going to battle. Boop, boop. Everybody, look at this awesome necklace. Do, 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 do. Hear ye, hear ye. Boop. Yep. <laughs> I will sell this. This is so cool. I love all these little panels. Yes. This one is a big yes. All right, take a look at this cool collar. It's so blingy. And then it's got this piece that maybe, maybe it's not supposed to, no, this is the way it opens, okay. So it opens and hooks around like that. It's got this drop heart, wow. This is something I will definitely try to sell. I don't see any maker's marks on it, but it's pretty cool. I think somebody will definitely like this blingy necklace. Definitely a seller. Same thing here. I love this one. It has this Native American uh, vibe to it. Love the orange beads. This one I will sell as well. And then this green, oh, what does that say in there? Two's Company on the inside. But I love this green 
bracelet. So that's one I will sell as well. Got some good sellers. Now then, I like things with mixed metal. I would definitely take these off of the card to sell them because I don't think the card is gonna help it. It's pretty dirty and gross. But I think somebody might like the mixed metal aspect of those. And uh, yeah, so I'll take those off the card to sell. And then we've got a Green Lantern belt buckle. So I'm gonna see, oop, you can't see it. Green Lantern belt buckle. I'm gonna see if uh, what this might go for. Does it go that way? Does it go that way? I'm sure, I think, mm, there, that way. <laughs> there we go. And then this necklace as well. I'm on the fence about it. I like the woven gold and black. I'm not sure. I'm kind of trying to decide if I should sell it or not. So this is a cool necklace, but it's all falling apart. So this is going to go into a lot. Got this cool ring that's got this flower on it. I'll probably just put this one into a lot too. I know some people like these stretch brace uh, rings and this one's kind of nice, but I think I'm going to go ahead and put that one in a lot as well. And same with this one. Oh, I don't know. I'm on the fence now. Because this is another one that's adjustable, it's kind of stretchy. Yeah, this is they're both going to a lot. And then these two look like, no, maybe they don't go together. But I like that hammered look. Definitely very cool. All right, we're going to check this one out, see if maybe it's got a silver mark in there. I don't see a mark, but I have a feeling this one is silver. I'm going to go ahead and put it to the side and see if I can test it. All right, a few things here. This one is a really cool... It's plastic, it's red. I, I think I'm definitely going to try to sell that one. I love it. Same thing here. This is a nice blingy bracelet that's got this opening like so to put it on. That will sell. And then this one is like an agate. Kind of like a lot of times you see them, some people stack them with jade bracelets. And I looked it up to see like, what would you call this exactly? I have to look again, but it's some sort of agate or a red jade, you know. It's got this faceting at the top. I will definitely sell this probably, I don't know, 30 to 50 bucks. I love it. Uh, San Francisco Giants, anybody? I think I'm gonna lot this one up. This one says 1969, or is that 1989? My eyes, oh, 89. <laughs> and then look at this. Come in, come in closer. Let's take a peek. Looks like what we've got here is a little maybe ruby and diamond. The chain, which also needs to be detangled, is marked 14K on the jump ring, or not the jump ring, but the, the clasp. Oh, there's another little mark there. Let me go in and see. It's 14K, but I, it's got this mark that I've seen before. And I, is it Silpata? Does Silpata make stuff like this? It's that kind of like arrow mark. Hang on, let me wipe it off a little more. I just washed my hands. This, I swear, this lot is so dirty. Let me see if I can bring it in closer. Hang on. I might be able to zoom it. Let me try. Can you see the mark there? I'm trying to get it inside the ring light. So it's 14K and then that kind of arrowy looking symbol. But I'll pull out the gem tester because I'm already going to be testing that one so we can test them all at the end. And then a couple more bracelets. These I will both sell. This one, even though it's beat up a little bit, some people that like this style don't mind that. They want that, uh, the distressed look, you know. And then this one is pretty clean, looks good. So I will work on selling that one as well. And then this one, I'll probably put in a lot. What is that right there? LA Loop, I think is what it says. Yeah, these will go to a lot.
Okay, so I've got all of these little bits at the bottom sorted out, and this is all stuff that I'm going to put in a lot. All of that. I've got some earrings here. These ones are a really cool cluster. Goodness, with the bonus here on this lot. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to vacuum my workroom after this. So yeah, this is a nice little pair of earrings that are these cluster drops. They're gorgeous. These I will sell. Same thing here, these balls that are clip-ons with the pearls at the top. Those will sell. This is a really nice chain, gold tone chain bracelet. Maybe Lucky Brand. I'm not quite sure. I'll have to check out the, the spade and see, but I like this style of chain a lot, so I can definitely sell that. I've got two brooches here. Looks like they were off of something else. Perhaps somebody created them into brooches. They did a nice job, and I really like them, so both of those will get sold. This is a really nice lot. There's another one of these. Maybe we'll find a mate for it, or it can go with a mismatched lot. I thought these were mates. Oh, with the hair. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, but maybe the other ones are in there. We'll see. All right, so here we go. This one. Now, tell me, I thought intaglio, because like cameos are carved down, intaglios are usually carved, but this one has got this kind of centurion soldier face. Pretty cool piece. I'll get a chain for that and definitely sell it. Couple more rings here. These ones will go to a lot. Those ones are, you can see they're pretty worn on the inside. And then this one, it looks like a coral and I'm not sure what the white, maybe, oh, it's got a nice little sheen to it, maybe a mother of pearl. And then it's missing a stone, so maybe it's down in the bottom, maybe it's something I can fix. I am on the fence. It's got a mark on the back, so it's probably got the, yeah, maker on there. And then next, y'all, this is adorable. We've got Disneyland Castle, we've got Tinkerbell, and this is a sweater clip. It's got these little pearls connecting them for the sweater clip. Isn't it so sweet? I just love this. I will definitely sell this. I'll have to look up what kind of price to put on it. These ones, I mean, they're cool, but these ones will probably go into a lot as well. And then I will sell this wild bird kitty cat pin. Looks like it's probably silver. I love it. That one I will sell. And then I found the mate for this one. Let me pull this back. These may be catch and release. I'm gonna have to see how they look on me, but I love them. I think they're so gorgeous. All right, so all of this is going into a lot. That's a nice clip-on, but there's no mate for it, so that's gonna go to a lot as well. Same thing on this one, no mate. Got a few of them like that. I mean, they're cool, but no mate, so they'll go to a lot. These glass ones will go to my sis. And then let's take a look at you. So here we've got this ring. Is that just scuff on top or is it mess? Let's see, there we go. This one, is it marked inside? Yeah, let's see what it says. NRT, I don't know what that means, but I love this green stone. It's that olive green stone, it's beautiful. I will probably try to sell this one. Uh, it's likely, let's see, I see another mark over there. I mean, I think it's just got some kind of plating on it. I'm not sure. I'll have to check it out a little closer, but I love the green stone, I think it's gorgeous. And then there were a few of these earrings that have this stone kind of suspended in here. Those are pretty cool. I'll probably put those in a lot too though. They're, they're awesome though, I like them. These are a couple of earrings that are those gold earrings used for piercing ears. So those I might just put in with my gold scrap. And then this brooch is pretty awesome. It's pretty cool, I like that yellow flower and this interesting little swirl underneath. I'll sell that. 
then we've got this ring. Let's take a look. It, it looks like it's been fixed. It doesn't feel like it's really gold. I don't see any marks inside. I'm gonna look closer. I'm gonna hold on to this. I might clean it up and sell it. I think it's got a really good look to it. It's pretty cool. This medallion has been really well loved and rubbed on. It's awesome. I, I mean, I can't, I don't know that I could sell it, but I feel weird throwing in a lot. I feel like somebody really, you know, really rubbed that a lot with their hopes and fears and prayers and I just think that's really cool. So, I don't know. I may hold on to that. And then we've got these two little keys. The key says comfy on it. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna have to look it up. Maybe one of y'all can tell me. I don't know what this is all about. And we've got a tiny little spoon. I don't think it's silver. No, nope. so it's drilled, so I can put that into a lot. And then there's this really cool pendant. I can throw a, a silver chain on that and sell this one. Let's see what that mark is on the back. Yeah, that's a 925. So I'll, I'll put a silver chain on that and sell this. And then I'm, it's a shame that this earring didn't have a mate either. I, I mean, you could just wear this as a brooch. It's so awesome. I might tr still try to sell that. That's pretty cool, just as a brooch. All right, let's bring out the tester. All right, let's test this one first, just for funsies. So let's see, I'll zoom down a little bit. It's kind of hard to see the, maybe I can put something underneath to lift it up so you can see better there. All right, let's get this. So that's got no movement, so it's just glass, which, you know, I'm not surprised. Then on this one, We'll test it. Now the tester doesn't tell any the difference between lab created or natural, so. But this one is falling in that, right there where that little black line is, it says Chiroprase, Emerald, and Nephrite. Let's see, right, shoot again. Ah. So right there, that one is an emerald. And I was able to get these, there's little, <laughs> there's little diamonds along the edges, they're little chips. But if I hit the metal, it makes that loud, noise so let me try to snag one so you can see that it goes over to the diamond side Let's see if I can do this oh stop hollering at me there 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 okay so I've got that with little diamonds and then this one that was 14k There we go. It's going over to Ruby Sapphire. I have to get it. It's so tiny. It's hard for me to hold it still. I'm trying to get it in camera. Okay, then the little one on top there, if I can grab it without hitting the metal. There we go. So then that one is testing it as a diamond. Yay! So we definitely got some really good stuff in this box. As dirty as it was, I'll take it. everybody I hope you enjoyed this video this was a really good lot I found some amazing things in it Tiffany gold silver lots of amazing stuff I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble making my money back so I'm pretty excited about this one yay go team Texas gal and we're, we'll see you on the next one bye everybody